Several X-ray biopsy exams are scheduled for the day. We start with a calibration check to make sure everything is okay in terms of system accuracy. Once the calibration check is completed, dedicated compressor paddle and Encore Inspire Fire Forward piece are attached. Fire Forward is ready in pre-fire position. Stereo positioner is set in home position. Then the core light specimen radiography system is calibrated. In preparation of the procedure, it is important to review the mammograms with the crew in order to plan the procedure according to lesion location. In this case, the patient shows two clusters of microcalcifications. You can see the first and the second group of microcalcifications. The most medial group of calcifications can already be found on the previous exam. The second group of calcifications deep in the retroareola segment seems to be new. Before starting the biopsy, we measure the distance from the microcalx to the nipple on both the craniocaudal and the oblique view. In our case, respectively 4 and 5 centimetres. All materials needed for the exam must be prepared in advance. The Enspire system must be prepared for the procedure. Encore console is set up with the canister, cassette and saline. Now the Inspire system is ready to install the Encore probe. The Encore 10G probe tubing is connected to the cassette, fluids and saline connectors. Encore probe is attached to the driver and calibration starts with pressing the foot pedal. The Encore Inspire touchscreen is ready in a few seconds. Explaining the procedure of the biopsy to the patient is extremely important for the success of the procedure. It is important to reassure the patient to avoid anxiety and motion during the biopsy. We install the patient on the biopsy table and try to position the patient as comfortably as possible. I compress the breast slowly. We start with a scout view to locate the microcalcifications. Once we can image them in the center of the image, we make a tomosynthesis of the breast.
The nurse disinfects the skin with an alcohol solution. I place a sterile needle guide on the holder of the biopsy table. After calibration, I place the needle on the holder and fix it. On the basis of the measured coordinates, we automatically guide the needle to the correct X and Y position. The Z position in the depth has to be positioned manually. We place the needle in front of the skin. First, we anaesthetize the skin with 5 cc lidocaine 1%. For deeper anaesthetic, we inject 5 cc lidocaine with adrenaline 1%. Adrenaline causes vasoconstriction and diminishes the risk of local bleeding. I make a small cross incision in the skin. Through this incision, the needle advanced into the breast until it reaches the desired position as indicated by the green indications on the screen. We call this the pre-fire position. Before firing the needle to the correct depth position, we take a pre-fire stereotatic set of images to check the correct position of the needle. On this screen, we can see the needle tip projects right in front of the calcifications. We then fire the needle to the correct depth position. The needle will advance two more centimeters. Once the needle is in the correct position, we can start taking the samples with the 10 gauge Encore needle. The cutting of the Encore needle can be controlled by a foot pedal. Through a lateral opening in the needle, samples are taken in a circumferential way. The samples are collected in a collection chamber at the back side of the needle. We take two rounds of six samples each. At any time, the position of the cutting device can be controlled on the screen of the Encore breast biopsy system. During the procedure, it is important to maintain contact with your patient and reassure her that everything is going well. After taking the first round of sampling, the collection chamber is removed from the needle to collect the samples. Then a second round of six samples is taken. In case of local bleeding, we can aspirate the blood with the Encore needle. During the second round of samples, an X-ray image of the first six samples is acquired. The core light system will display the image right after the exposure. This X-ray confirms already the presence of several microcalcifications in the resected cores. At this point, the biopsy is already successful. After confirmation of the presence of these microcalcifications in the samples, a marker is placed at the site of the biopsy. The Encore device allows to choose the position of the clip relative to the needle. 
To place the marker, we first replace the basket rear cover with the marker adapter. The marker applicator is introduced through the probe internal sheath. The yellow marker on the introducer is then aligned with the red marker that indicates the lateral opening of the needle. The needle is then turned around over 180 degrees to avoid displacing the marker while retrieving the needle out of the breast. The needle is pulled back a few millimeters and then an X-ray image is acquired to confirm the placement of the clip. On this X-ray, we can see the post-biopsy cavity. There are no residual microcalcifications. The markers are correctly placed at the biopsy site. To minimize migration, both the probe and tissue marker applicator are removed from the breast as one unit. The breast is locally compressed immediately. We release the pressure of the breast. It is important to maintain pressure while the patient is moving. The nurse holds pressure on the biopsy site for five more minutes. To facilitate the work of the pathologist, we separate the samples with microcalcifications. Wound closure strips are used on the breast incision site. Some final information and instructions are given to the patient.